Welcome to Academic Web Services Training. I am your host, David Pinter. And in this session, what we're going to be talking about is defining profiles and pre-flighting your InDesign document. Now, what we have here is an InDesign document. We created it in Word, brought it over, converted it to an InDesign document for a book. There's about 300 pages. But we want to make sure that there are no errors before we end up sending it to the printer. And each printing vendor out there has different standards that they use. So you get a hold of the vendor and make sure you check which types of printing machines that your book is going to be printed on. So if I'm taking a look at this document, I want to make sure that there are no errors in here. So right now we're looking at a profile at the very bottom here. It's called pre-flight profile. And if I click that downward, we also know, notice that there are two more here as well digital publishing and David's profile check. So notice that on the basic working, there's a green light it's showing that there's no errors. If I come down here and click on digital publishing, it again shows no errors, but these are the basic checks that you would have in a document and so forth. What we wanna do is we wanna define a profile that gives us a little bit more advanced information that we could possibly end up having errors before we ended up sending it out to the vendor. So let's come over here for a minute and, and just and, and come, come on down here and click on David's profile check and let's see what that does. So it's gonna go through the entire 300 pages and it's gonna be looking for anything that could possibly be wrong with this document. And as you can tell, it has pulled up that there are 529 errors. Well, let's take a look at the profile and let's just see exactly what it's looking for. So if I'm going over here to this one panel, the pre-flight profiles panel, there's the basic, there's the digital publishing, and here is the David's profile check. We can come down here and take a look at and see exactly what's checked. So like normal, we're looking for links missing or modified or inaccessible URL links. Down in the color profile, let me pull that up, pull that back up. In the color, we are looking for color spaces and modes that are not allowed. So if there's a spot color in here that's not allowed, for instance, the vendor only wants CMYK, well, we wanna make sure that this right here is in fact checked. Scrolling down a little bit, we're looking for overprinting applied in InDesign, make sure that's checked. Overprinting applied to white or paper color, check this, and also registration. If something is black in here and you have it set up as a registration, you want to make sure that it's actually a CMYK black process color. So we want to check for that and then we'll look at how to modify those. Now over here, pull that one back up on color and come down to images and objects. We're looking at image resolution. You usually don't want to go anything below 150 DPI. We're looking for non-proportional scaling of placed objects. Images that have been skewed or distorted a little bit, we want to make sure that they're looking very good and we want to check for that. Also, we're looking for a minimum stroke weights here. And we're looking at that as 0 0.125 points. Now we're going to come down here a little bit further. And then down at the bottom here, we're looking at text. And it's kind of the same thing that we've seen before, overset text. We want to make sure there's none of that. And then a font missing or a glyph missing in the document. And just like the images, there's also non-proportional type scaling, something that you might have scaled inaccurately. It can actually check for that. And then you can go back in the document and check that. And check that. And then what we have here is we have minimum type sizes of three points. So that's pretty much it that we're going to be looking at right here. So if, with all those things checked, the document down here is saying that, well, with this, these checked, there's 529 errors. So we're just going to hit OK. Now what we're going to do here is take a look at the color issue. So I'm going to come over here to my swatches and then take a look at the flyout menu up here. And I want to just take a look at select all unused. I want to see all the swatches that are unused at this point, and then I'm just going to delete those off of here right now. So these are actually the ones that we're using in this document. I now want to go up to here and come down to Ink Manager, like this. And this is a panel that's telling you what kind of color processes there are inside of your document. We can see we have the CMYK, but we also have a GCU purple spot color. So what I want to do is I want to come over here and then click that and then just hit OK. And that right there is going to change from a spot color to a CMYK. So we're going to click that. 
hit OK. And then we're going to let the profile do the check and to see what kind of information we have right now. And as you can see, we're now down to only three errors. So instead of flying this menu out again, I want to come over here and just double click what the errors are. So with that said, this is the pre-flight panel and it's saying that there's something wrong with the images or objects in here. So let's take a look. Okay, so we have non-proportional scaling. Something did not get scaled correctly in our images. So let's take a look at what they are. I'm gonna go here to first page 73 and we'll see. And a lot of times just the change itself, it looks like there's a little bit of something off here. So I'm gonna just basically just right click this, go down to fitting and then come down here to fit content proportionally like this. And as you can see, almost immediately, this right here has now disappeared. So now we have only two errors to go. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of finessing. And I'm just going to just move it over a little bit to kind of more or less line it up with the side here. Now that's pretty good. We'll keep it as that. Now the next one on page 243, we have another image here that has non-proportional scaling. Again, we're just going to simply just right click, fitting, and fit content proportionally. There we go. And sure enough, it went away. And finally, it looks like there's one more image here, and there it is. So we're going to just right-click this image, fitting, and then fit content proportionately. There we go. And now, as you can see, with all of those advanced settings now, it's coming up with no errors at the bottom here. Now we just simply just save the document out and then do a pre-flight, and then we're good to go. So there you have it, working in InDesign with the custom defining profiles.